Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about the kth smallest element in a BST problem. The problem statement is pretty much simple. You are given a root of a binary search tree and you have also given an integer key. You have to return the kth smallest value, which is one index of all the values of the node in the trees. So you are given in simple terms a binary search tree. Uh, we'll also discuss about what is binary search tree. And you have to find out the kth smallest value in that binary source. Pretty much simple. That's the overall problem statement. Let's take some example to understand the problem statement and then we'll move down to the code part. Let's say that, let us understand that what is binary search tree first. So a binary tree is a tree which has maximum of two nodes branching out from every node possible. Okay. That maximum of two nodes this is a binary tree okay now binary search tree is that if the values inside this nodes is such that the left value is always smaller and the right value is always larger let's take some example let's say the value on this node is 10 then on the left hand side it it can be let's say 7 because it is smaller then if it is on the right hand side it has to be larger than 7 but smaller than 10 it can be it can be 8 this value has to be smaller than 7 because it is on the left hand side so every node that is of the left hand side is smaller let's say it can be 5 this value has to be larger than 10 so whatever is a child node this node has to be have if it is on the right hand side it has to be a larger value than the node it is coming from. It is 10, so it is coming, so it, it can be 12, it can be 11, whatever, but it cannot be 9. Then this can be, let's say, 14. Okay. This is a valid binary search tree. Now you are given a binary search tree in your problem statement. Now you have to find out the kth smallest one. By smallest one, as you can see, is let's say I want to find out the second smallest one in this particular problem. So the smallest one here is 5, then 7, then 8, then 10, 12, and 14. So second smallest is 7. You have to print out that. Now, how can you do that? Uh, there are multiple ways, but what you can see here is that you have to travel this whole tree to find out that. What you can also do is that you have to somehow find out the values. In this particular order, if I somehow print the values inside the binary search tree in a increasing order, then whatever is the second value or kth value, you can just print out. Now, how can you print out the values of a binary search tree in an increasing order? It's pretty much simple. Uh, if you have learned about binary search trees, it can be done using in order traversal. How? Because in, in order traversal, what we'll try to do is that we will first go to the very left, take that value, then move to the right. Like we go to the very left, then print out the value and go, then go to the very right. So we'll go to the very left, we'll get the value, then we backtrack, go to the right and keep on taking that value so that in an in order traversal of a binary search tree, we get in an increasing order. Now, in that scenario, we'll only fill only key values will only traverse till the key values in the binary search tree and find out the key smallest value because when we do an in order traversal, we'll print out in an increasing order. So we only require the key smallest, so only the key values are required. So whatever is the key value, we'll just print out and that's the complete logic for this particular problem. Nothing much complicated. Let's move on to the code part now. So what we have done here is that we have taken a vector that will store the in order traversal of this complete binary search tree. We will push elements inside it. Then we'll start our in order traversal and push start pushing out elements in our in the vector that we have used to store the in order traversal of the binary search tree. And then whatever is the last value, because we'll only traverse up till k values, whatever is the last kth value, we'll find out the back value of the vector. That is the last value that we have just calculated. That is the kth value. 
that is the value that you have to print out now what is in order traversal it's pretty much simple you have also gone through a lot of other videos in which i have done in order traversal but it's pretty much simple what we'll do in, in order traversal is that we will first go to the very left then we'll print out the value and then go to the very right okay that is the complete logic now in an order to not traverse over the complete binary tree and only stop till we have gathered the first k values we can also use a base case that if we encountered a null value or if the values i am pushing inside the vector exceeds k then we should return because i should only push up till k values inside the vector if it is more than k then don't traverse don't traverse over the complete uh, binary tree because we, we don't require such more values and that's also marked here as well that when we are pushing the values inside the vector we should only push it up till k values because if we are pushing more than k values that is irrelevant for us because we only require capital k values so we'll keep on pushing the values inside the vector and whenever we hit the k values it is less than k we'll keep on pushing if it becomes greater than or equal to k we'll not push it because whatever the last value is the value that is that we required okay that is the complete logic and the code part this this will in the maximum worst case scenario it did over all the values because the k can be the last value and that will be done in o of n that's the worst case the first very easy case can be that it, you will get the only the first value it can be done in the constant time as well so that's the complete logical code part of this particular problem if you still have any doubts you can mention down in the comment box of this particular video i will see you in the next video coding and bye